Hello friends, this video on heat part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us quickly look at some of the questions. Question number one. State similarities and differences between the laboratory thermometer and the clinical thermometer. So if you talk about similarities, so both of them construction wise they are made up of glass tube, they contain uh, mercury both of them are used to measure temperature so these are some things which are common you talk about differences again lot of differences in clinical thermometer you only have provision to measure temperature between this range 35 to 42 degrees celsius whereas in laboratory thermometer you can measure a huge range of temperatures starting from minus 10 degrees celsius to 110 degrees celsius Clinical thermometer is used to measure the body temperature whereas the laboratory thermometer measures temperatures of many other objects. In clinical thermometer you, we have a kink which is present and due to that kink the mercury level doesn't fall on its own and we need to give physical jerks to the thermometer to bring the mercury level down. But that is not the case with laboratory thermometer. Here as soon as you take the thermometer out of that particular object the mercury levels falls down. So therefore in this case no jerks are needed but at the same time it cannot be used to measure the temperature of human body. Question number two, give two examples each of conductors and insulators of heat. So conductors, those which allow heat to pass through them, those who conduct heat and their best examples would be the metals. For example, aluminium, copper, iron, they are all good conductors of heat. If you talk about insulators, they do not allow heat and therefore they are not suitable for cooking purposes like plastic, wood, air, water, they are all poor conductors or insulators of heat. Question number three, fill in the blanks. The hotness of an object is measured by its, how do we determine how hot an object is? By its temperature. Temperature of boiling water cannot be measured by a dash thermometer. Which thermometer is used for measuring temperature of all other objects? Laboratory thermometer, yes. And which cannot measure temperature of boiling water, that is clinical thermometer. Because this thermometer can only measure temperatures falling in the range of 35 degree to 42 degree Celsius. And it can only measure the temperature of human body. That's it. Temperature is measured in degree in which, which is the most commonly used scale of temperature. The most commonly used one is the degree Celsius. No medium is required for transfer of heat by the process of, so just throw the ball in the air. So that was radiation. So I gave the example of the ball with boys with the ball. A cold steel spoon is dipped in a cup of hot milk. It transfers heat to its other end by the process of the same object heat is being transferred from one end to another. So in solids how heat transfer takes place? By conduction. Clothes of dash colors absorb heat better than clothes of light colors. So dark colors absorb more heat. So therefore we prefer wearing dark colored clothes during winters. Question number four, match the following. So here you have columns one and two and you have to make the right match. Land breeze blows during, so land breeze will always blow during night. And sea breeze will flow during the day. Dark colored clothes, they absorb more heat. So they are going to keep you more warm. So you want to be warm during winters. So this is going to be winters and light colored clothes should be worn during summers because they reflect most of the heat and a very small amount of heat gets absorbed. So your body remains cool. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.